and welcome back to the show. Side Projects is a collaborative production company dedicated to telling powerful stories. One of their recent short films, School, is reflecting on a vibrant press and then also looking forward to a hopeful future where kids are back to where they deserve to be. And we've got with us here on the show, co-founder of Side Projects, Anthony Hull and Demetrius Beckham. And uh, gentlemen, good to have you here sharing with us here on Open. Hey, thank you for having us. It's, it's, it's nice to be with you, man. Hey, yeah, glad to you. have you. Uh, glad to be able to have this conversation. And so uh, for those who don't know, listen, you, I mean, you, got, you have this production company and you wanted to be a production company with a purpose. So talk to us a little bit about the purpose behind Side Projects. Yeah, definitely. I can jump in here. Uh, thanks again for having us. So, you know, for me and for Ant, I was pretty much fresh out of film school when we first started side projects, going to school in New York, living and working. Ant was doing his thing in production, film, commercial stuff. And we just recognized how the industry wasn't really built for us in the way that um, we weren't allowed to tell certain stories that we grew up knowing so very well, because there was other boxes that we were, you know, forced to fit into. So in that way, side projects is meant to be an outlet for us to tell the stories that we know incredibly well, stories in New York, stories of people who look like us. Um, yeah. And so Anthony, for yourself, obviously the opportunity to uh, put projects together that could actually be a difference maker and also uh, a game changer. So we're talking about your one of your latest projects and talking about school. Yeah, yeah, school was, um, basically I've been documenting um, this school in the Bronx for some years through photography. And and one thing I noticed and one thing Dee and I always talked about is there's such like reductive stereotypes put on uh, young black and brown kids. And like, honestly, we know this, they can be harmful um, and very dangerous. And being in that school, you see kids as they are. So we had so much access to be able to show kids just as they are, kids. And, and um I think we really just tried to take a step back in that filming and just be there and watch. And so when people see that film, you can just, uh, you're just an audience member in somebody's uh, existence in their life. And, and there are no, you know, and also we're seeing it from a lens of also being, you know, uh, you know, black men. So we wanted to really show that. And uh, I, I think it, it's like such an incredible look because without saying much, it says a lot, you know? Yeah. And uh, also Demetrius, when you talk about saying a lot, you have the opportunity to actually say a lot through your own lens. Uh, whereas many times we have the picture dictated and told to us, you have the opportunity now to tell the story and have people understand and see from a totally different perspective. What is the hope that you have for people who are watching school and the work that, of side projects? Yeah, that's a great question. I would say in general, um, the idea of, you know, this idea that pictures tell a thousand words, right? I feel like there's so much more information that we can convey through just the frames of the films that we, that we put out. And so in that way, I would love for people to just have new, fresh, innovative ways of thinking and receiving people um, the perceptions of us, of people that look like us, people who might not look like us, right? I think there's so much more for us to learn about each other if we just remove any sort of preconceived notions and, and just look at the film, look at the pictures, look at the information and, and hear for ourselves. Yeah. And so, Anthony, talk to me about how people can go about watching school and where people can check it out. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, you can just, we have it um, uh, on our site. Um, simply, it's there. We want to make it easy, accessible. That's what that film is for everybody to see. Um, so it's on sideprojects.film, www.sideprojects.film. And that's where you can see um, everything that we, we put out and, uh, and schools up there. And I would love for people to go check that out. You know, there's so many times that we talk about stereotypes and I always, you know, sometimes I hate to even have to bring it up. But there are, there are these continuous stereotypes that always affect those who are in black and brown communities. Uh, but as storytellers and people who have the ability to tell the story and convey a message, um, give me a little bit about that in you, because you do want to be able to tell a different narrative. Go ahead, Dee. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it comes from this sort of childlike uh, desire to just see the world and have others see the world for, for what it is, which is really just this beautiful, wonderful thing. So in that way, storytelling is, is simply a vehicle for us to get out these ideas, get out these sort of thought processes, get out these uh, these visions 
for our future, for our present, and just really just live a more beautiful, magical life. So hopefully that answered the question. <laughs> yeah. And you want to you want to answer on that? Yeah, I just think also it's important for us. We want to show our people in the most robust way because I think for a long time the the narratives that are being put um, on our stories. Um, they're just not, they don't, they're not wide enough. And and we know living those experiences, there's so much more. So that that's like deeply important to us that you see all the spectrums of our stories. And uh, that's what we want to continue to do. Um, that's what we will continue to do. Yeah. So for people who want to really jump in, support the work, what's the best way they can support side projects and the things that you got going on? Yeah, we're accessible. Um, one, we have our Instagram, of course, side project at sideprojects.film. Um, they can definitely hit us there. Um, also, we, you know, have a contact uh, on our on our website and we answer all the emails. We really get back to people because if, if people that that's one big part um, of side projects, it's about people and it's about community and it's about connecting because we can't do this work without connecting with other people. Um, so they can always reach us on our Instagram and on our website, hit us on an email, a DM. Um, we're there, we're accessible, and we, we love collaborating. We just love meeting and, and talking to people. You know, um, to have the ability to tell your own story is very, is very powerful, very unique. Um, and sometimes it doesn't come easy. Uh, can you share with us just the battle for yourselves and the process to get to where you are right now? Yeah, I mean, for those who don't know, filmmaking is quite an expensive uh, sport, if you will. It's quite an expensive operation. It involves, you know, at minimum 15, 20 people at times to, you know, over a three day span and thousands of dollars to be spent. The beautiful thing about school is that because of Ant's access to the, the charter school network that we work with, Democracy Prep, we were able to bypass a lot of those upfront costs to be able to tell this story that um, people have really been able to, to take in. But all that to be said for stories to come, that is like one of the primary challenges is how do we do it? Granted, we have this beautiful network of people, filmmakers, cinematographers, editors, sound designers. And so we rely on them quite heavily. But um, at the end of the day, it is a it is a it's a battle and it's a challenge. But, you know, we're committed. Well, certainly, I want to thank you guys both for coming and sharing with us. Uh, Side Projects in School is uh, out there and available. I want to let people know that if you want more information, listen, visit them on sideprojects.film and then also follow them on Instagram at sideprojects.film. And uh, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure having y'all. And thanks so much for being with us here on Open. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, appreciate you too, man. Appreciate you too. We encourage our viewers, listen, don't go anywhere. We got more Open coming up right after this.